Hi, Grandad. How are you? What? I said, how are you, Grandad? About 2.30. Forget it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Rude English. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing sentence stress. Sentence stress is often described as the rhythm of a language, and it helps us to speak fluently and coherently. So make sure you watch this video if you want to improve your English pronunciation. In English, words can be divided into two groups, function words and content words. Function words include pronouns, prepositions, articles, conjunctions and auxiliary verbs, and they don't carry much information. In contrast, content words include verbs, adverbs, adjectives and nouns, and they do carry a lot of information. In a normal sentence, the content words are usually stressed because they are the most important. For example, do you want to drink? Yes, a delicious tea. The sentence stress usually falls in the same place in a sentence. But what if some of the words have more syllables than others? Does the sentence stress change position? Listen again and compare these examples. Do you want a drink? Do you want another drink? Yes, a delicious tea. Yes, a tolerable tea. In English, sentence stress always falls in the same place, regardless of the number of syllables in a sentence. Consequently, unstressed syllables may contract in order to maintain the correct sentence stress. So, want a drink, which contains just one unstressed syllable, takes the same amount of time to say as want another drink, which contains three unstressed syllables. And Delicious tea, which contains one unstressed syllable in the middle, takes the same amount of time to say as tolerable tea, which has three unstressed syllables. Languages which contract syllable length in this way are known as stress-timed languages. Other stress-timed languages include German, Dutch, Russian, Arabic and Thai. In contrast, in syllable-timed languages, the syllable length always remains the same, so the stressed words may appear in different positions in the sentence, depending on the number of syllables it contains. Common syllable-timed languages include French, Spanish, Italian, Turkish, Chinese, Korean and Japanese. Stress timed sentence stress explains why function words have weak forms in English, because the vowel sounds are reduced in order to maintain the correct sentence stress. So a sentence such as, let's go to the bar, when I speak naturally, sounds like, let's go to the bar. Remember to focus on content words when speaking English, and contract or reduce function words to fit around them. I recommend you watch my video on the schwa sound for more information about weak forms. I'm going to the bar, Grandad. I'll be back later. You're going to the cinema? No, I'm going to the bar. Sarah's going to the bar. No, I'm going to the bar. We can change sentence stress in order to emphasize or contrast information. In that sketch, I exaggerated the word bar in order to emphasize the most important information for my deaf granddad. I'm going to the bar. Later, I stressed the word I'm, which is a function word, in order to contrast and correct my deaf granddad. No, I'm going to the bar. There are no strict rules about this kind of sentence stress. It simply depends on what information you think is most important or what emotion you want to express. My granddad's so deaf, he's a real pain in the ass. I heard that. 
Well, that's the end of the lesson. Thanks very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave me some feedback in the comments below. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.